Hi hello this is Anup today we are going to talk about October patches for Windows 10 and Windows 11 what are the patches released by Microsoft on 10th of October as a patch Tuesday for Windows 11 and Windows 10 operating systems or we are going to talk about zero day vulnerabilities and other vulnerabilities Microsoft published on 10th of october patch tuesday of october and we will also discuss about updates improvements fixes and non issues with patch tuesday patches which is released in october 2023 at the end of this video we will also discuss about automation options for patch deployment using intune sscm and we will discuss about something new which is called windows auto patch to end to end automate the patch tuesday scenarios and we will also discuss how to download patches manually and install it on non connected windows 10 windows 11 devices so don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out so let's talk about october patches in details we are going to check the zero day vulnerabilities released on 10th of october patch tuesday and then we will talk about windows 10 windows 11 latest cumulative updates and we will talk about new features updates and fixes non issues how to deploy the patches using intune or sscm and how to download the patches manually we will also discuss about the automation options with patch tuesday let's look at zero day vulnerabilities published by microsoft in october 2023 there are three zero day vulnerabilities that microsoft published one is related to http2 rapid reset attack and the other one is related to wordpad information disclosure vulnerability and the third one is skype for business elevation of privilege vulnerability 36563417634487 so these are the three vulnerabilities and you can see there are other 202 vulnerability disclosures microsoft did for this october patch tuesday let's look at http2 rapid reset attack vulnerability over here maximum severity is important and you can see the details over here following is a work around for this vulnerability immediately you need to disable http2 protocol on your web server by using the registry editor and the registry details are given over here so you can set it up accordingly because this is highly important for your web servers now let's look at wordpad related vulnerability wordpad information disclosure vulnerability and if i go down over here you would be able to see the details what is this vulnerability and how microsoft is going to fix this everything is written over here please click on the description of the video to get more details about this vulnerability and the third one is about skype for business skype for business elevation of privilege vulnerability and you can see this cvss number is mentioned over here and if i go down you would be able to see the details what attacker can do with this vulnerability and how you can fix it etc apart from this there are 202 other vulnerabilities which are published by microsoft in october patch tuesday now let's quickly check build numbers of windows 10 and 11 after installing october 2023 latest cumulative update so after installing windows 11 22h2 kb article 5031354 the version numbered would be 2022621 2428 and for 21 h2 version of windows 11 after installing the kb article 5031358 the version number would be 
2538 and what would be for windows 10 for windows 10 22h2 it would be 19045 after installing 5031356 kb article and for windows 10 21h2 after installing the kb article 5031356 the version number would be 19044 let's look into new features improvements with windows 11 and windows 10 26th of september 2023 microsoft released a list of new features coming as part of controlled feature deployment or it is called as movement release there are a lot of features included in this list i'm not going to go through every feature in this list but we will cover some of those which are important it this will be delivered to your devices depending on the characteristics of your device of your user profile etc all the devices won't get all these updates as you can see there are some copilot windows preview updates this is getting deployed so there are a lot of new features like that for example start menu there are some new features and for taskbar system tray and notification there are some new updates file explorer also has a lot of updates all these are coming to your devices pretty soon and probably some of these features will be already available on your devices which is running with 22 h2 version of windows 11 and even archive file formats using all these formats are available as part of this controlled feature release and then windows share updates are there backup and restore updates are there emoji updates are there spotlight updates are there i'm not going to cover everything settings related updates are there as you can see over here i will add this particular link into the description of the video so do check that out so that was about the new feature releases you are going to see with windows 22 h2 microsoft has not released 23 h2 yet they are planning to release somewhere around coming months so now let's look into improvements that microsoft introduced with october patches for windows 11 and windows 10 for windows 11 i could see there are some personalization options under the recommended sections or based on your browsing history there will be some websites added to recommended sections in start menu this is one of the improvements which i could see and there are some mobile device management related improvements in terms of offline templates etc as you can see over here and i will link this kb article also into the description of the video so that you can check this out in details and there are some smaller changes or improvements in terms of dst changes as well as the changes in the spelling as you can see over here that is all about windows 11 improvements apart from the controlled feature updates which we discussed previously and for windows 10 as you can see there are some animation related improvements you can see when you hover the mouse over some of the icons in the taskbar you would be able to see better animations and search box related improvements are there with windows 10 version after installing the october patches so more details are available here and i will add the link to the description of the video so do check that out if you want to know more details about this now let's check the fixes coming up with october patches once you install the october patches on windows 10 or windows 11 devices you would be able to see these fixes so let's look at windows 11 first i'm not going to cover all the fixes in this video but as you can see some of the important fixes are already highlighted over here some of them are related to ldap queries and those issues are fixed 
with October patches and there are some AppV related issues and that is also fixed with October patches. This was there since April 2023 and it's good that Microsoft is able to fix this issue with October patches and there are some OneDrive related issues also got fixed with October patches and there are some account lockout event related issues that is also got fixed with October patches for Windows 11 and as you can see there is some MDE related Microsoft Defender for endpoint related application compatibility issues that is also fixed with October patches now let's go to Windows 10 and check what are the fixes available some of the fixes are common for Windows 10 and Windows 11 and one of the important one with Windows 10 is skip certificate related issue got fixed with October patches and then there are some Windows labs related issues with Windows 10 devices and that got fixed with October patches and USB printing related issue with Microsoft Defender is fixed with October patches and some devices cannot attest their security health that issue is also got fixed with October patches so these are the main fixes coming out with October patches for Windows 10 and Windows 11 more details are available in the description of the video so do check that out some of the known issues which are not going to be be exactly fixed with October patches this is very important because you need to understand these issues are not going to be fixed but for most of the issues Microsoft already provided some workarounds as you can see over here some of the issues already fixed with some other KB articles there's a bit locker issue with Windows 10 as well as Windows 11 as you can see over here requires device encryption might incorrectly report that was the issue with BitLocker and Microsoft is already provided a workaround for this issue but Microsoft is working on a permanent resolution on this issue and that will be part of coming months updates and there's a smart sound technology issue with Windows 11 this is mitigated externally as per Microsoft vendor updating the drivers and this issue is common to both Windows 10 and 11 and for this also manual workaround is provided and for Windows 10 there's a specific issue which is also resolved with this particular KB article now let's see how to deploy October patches using SSEM before going to the details just wanted to mention about I button in YouTube and if you click on that I button you would be able to see end-to-end -end detailed video about SSEM patching process if you are not familiar with SSEM patching process please click on that link and open that video now basically there are different ways to deploy patches using SSEM there are semi automated way fully automated ways to deploy monthly patches to SSEM managed Windows 10 or Windows 11 clients you can search over here in the search box with the KB article details to get patches like this and then you can deploy these patches to manage devices otherwise you can use something called ADR automatic deployment rule set in SSEM to automatically deploy the patches to managed devices based on a specific criteria which you have mentioned in the ADR rules so there are different methods to do that to start with you can go to software library overview software updates all software updates node in SSEM console and sync with WSUS there's an option to initiate a sync with WSUS you initiate a sync with WSUS after the release of October patches then all the new patches will get automatically appeared in SSEM SSEM console from there you can proceed as we have discussed in the different video over here there are different search options you which you can use something like 23 10 cumulative updates etc to get the October patches in SSEM console now in Intune also there are different ways to deploy patches 
This is one of the quickest way to deploy patches if you want to bypass all the normal schedules in case you have a zero day vulnerability and you want to fix it immediately then you can use this option expedite installation of quality update and you can set zero day or one day to deploy this patch to all the devices managed by Intune otherwise if it is a normal patch schedule you don't need to do anything it is one time setup kind of a policy from Intune Intune uses Windows update for business policies to deploy patches rather than using the WSUS for SSEM scenario we have seen a WSUS is being used but for Intune Microsoft uses Windows update for business to set up the policies and once the policy is set once the rings are assigned testing ring pilot ring and then production ring rings are assigned then you don't need to touch that that is one time activity only in zero day vulnerability or some other scenario when you want to expedite the installation of October patches or any other quality updates then you need to use this policy from Intune for that also you can refer our previous video from the I button in YouTube to get more details about Intune patching now let's look at how to download the patches manually the October patches manually go to this particular website catalog.update.microsoft.com and and search with 2023-10 hyphen over here to list down all the patches released as part of October patch Tuesday and then you will get an option to download the patches once you click on download button over there so that is manually downloading the patches now let's look at Windows Auto patch that is the automated patch management service provided by Microsoft as you can see in this flow Microsoft is going to manage device readiness deployment rings redistribution you don't need to do the deployment rings creation etc Microsoft will do that for you this is kind of end-to-end -end automation of patch Tuesday so you don't need to do anything Microsoft will handle everything from their side but there are some catches as you can see over here we have discussed this also in detail in another video you can click on i button in youtube over here to get more details about that now that you know which are the patches released on this patch Tuesday October 2023 we have discussed about zero day vulnerabilities non issues fixes improvements updates for Windows 10 Windows 11 hope this was helpful Thank you all for watching. See you around.